Hey everybody and welcome back. Well, uh, before we dive into today's video, and it's going to be a cool one, trust me, I want to take a moment to thank my patrons. Uh, these are the people right here, and I want to thank them because they support me financially by donating a small amount per month that allows me to uh, do what I do. And in return, they get early access, they get Maya files uh, off of tutorials, they get texture files now and then, and so forth, right? So if you want to become a patron, I'll put a link below, and uh, patrons, thank you so much. All right, for today's video, now I'm going to do something I never done before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to redo somebody else's video. Now there's absolutely nothing wrong with that video. It's in fact uh, quite good. Uh, the thing is though that I received a very specific request to do so because the people watching it thought it was quite fast, right? Now I'm going to do it at a somewhat slower pace. I thought the topic was pretty cool. What we're going to do is we're going to create some smoke uh, and when we have that created, we're going to take an object, animate it so it will impact with the smoke. So uh, that's basically it. So let's check it out. This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keisha. All right, guys, so let's get started with our video. So uh, we're gonna create some smoke. For that, we need to have a 3D fluid emitter. So where do we get that? Let me just uh, shut down my attribute editor window here. We're gonna go up to the FX menu. So select this drop down. go to FX. We're gonna go up to fluids. We're gonna go to 3D container. We're gonna select that. That will give us this base box right here with an emitter in the middle. Now we want the box to be sitting on the grid line, so we're going to jump to this sheet right here, and we're going to right, uh, we're going to go to hit W to move, and we're going to move that up like this. Now there's an emitter in the middle right here, and I want to move that down to the base, uh, not the box, just the emitter. And if you have trouble selecting that, what you can do is go into your outliner. We're going to open up fluid. We're going to look for the emitter, select it, and just hit W and push that down like this. All right, now let's just have a quick look and see if everything is working correctly. So the box is on the grid, the emitter is lowered, it looks okay. We're going to go in here and we're going to set our animation slider to, let's say, 400 frames. That should be about right. And let's hit play to see what we get. As you can see, it's starting to generate smoke. It's uh, quite rough uh, due to the base resolution of the bottom of the box grid, but we can change that in a sec. But as you can see, it's uh, creating smoke nicely. So we're going to hit this guy to jump back to frame one. I'm going to select my box. I'm going to hit Control A to go back in. And the base resolution right now, it says that it's at 10. Let's go in there and select 80 and hit Enter. As you can see, the density of the bottom of the box goes uh, up quite a bit. We're going to jump back to frame one again. We're going to hit Play once more. And again, we're having smoke. The smoke uh, is now um, is looking much better right now, and as you can see, it's responding nicely, so we're all good. So let's hit stop, jump back to frame one, and the next thing we need to do is create our object that's going to collide with our uh, smoke, all right? So let's go in, and you don't necessarily have to, but we'll go into the modeling here. We'll take a sphere, and I'm just gonna hit W, pull that up, and pull that out like so. So that's going to go through the path of our smoke. Now we want to make sure that once this sphere goes through the smoke, the smoke is actually at that height already. So what we're going to do is find out where that would be. So we're going to hit play. And we're going to stop, let's say, here. So if I start to move my sphere at this point, I'm sure that I'll have smoke to go through, right? So we're at a frame, let's say 103 right now and we need to move it also, but let's say somewhere around 100, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our sphere, we're gonna drag to frame uh, one, we're gonna S to keyframe that, so that's our starting point, right? Then we're gonna go to, let's say, frame 100, that'd be okay. Let S to keyframe that again, just in case at some point we wanna move something in between. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to scrub to, let's say, frame, uh, I don't know, let's do 180, right? And the frame 180, we're gonna, well, let's do 200. We'll do 200 or close to 200. Yeah, there you go. 
So frame 200, we're going to move this guy through the smoke and we're going to hit S to keyframe that again, right? So we're going to jump back to frame one and keep in mind that we're only focusing on having the sphere move right now. There's not going to be any interaction yet because we didn't tell Maya that the sphere has to interact with the smoke. So we're just going to see if the ball moves or not. So we're on frame one. Let's hit play. Should start to move just about now through the smoke and there you have it. Okay, so that's all good. The only problem is that, like I said, it's not interacting with the smoke. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that that will collide, all right? So we're gonna go back to our FX menu. We're gonna go to fluids and there you have the option. And where is it at? Uh, let's see, make collide. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this guy. We're gonna shift select this guy fluids we're going to go to make collide and let's jump back to frame one and hit play once again smoke is coming up ball is starting to move and as we do that there you have it you can see that the smoke response now just to make that a little bit more obvious what we're going to do here is take our sphere we're going to scrub through so it's moving stopping right there at about 200 and what we're going to do is we're going to scrub to let's say 225 move it through again as the keyframe that scrub it to let's say somewhere around 257 move it over as to keyframe that and we'll do that one more time let's move it back here oops sorry let's scrub the frame to about here move this through and hit S one more time. Okay, we're going to jump to frame one and now you should very clearly see the interaction. Okay, ready? Here we go. Smoke coming up. Ball starting to move. We got interaction as you can clearly see. Ball's coming back and back and there you have it. So that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, hopefully this uh, is what is needed to understand this properly. Like I said, nothing wrong with the original video. Just try to do this at a slightly slower pace for those of you who are new to this kind of stuff, okay? And if you get any requests uh, for uh, you know dynamic stuff, let me know in the comments. And uh, that said, thank you guys for watching. If you don't want to miss out on future videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.